Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use the min function in Excel. In Microsoft Excel, min function returns the smallest or minimum value from the provided numbers, named range or array. So let's see how min function works in Excel. Here we have a table containing 5 ranges from A8 to E12. So we'll start with the first column and we type min function in cell A14. And we tap to auto complete the function. As you see here, min function takes number arguments and you can take up to 255 number arguments if working on Excel 2007 or later version and 30 arguments if you are working on Excel 2003 or older versions. Either you can type manually in the arguments or you can give the cell reference to the location in the worksheet or you can have the different ranges as well. So for now, we'll select the range from A8 to A12 and we hit enter. The function gives us 1 because 1 is the smallest value among these 5 values. In the next example, we will see what happens when we take any range in the first argument and enter any value in the second argument. So we type min function in cell B14 and then hit tab to, to complete the function. Now we select a range from B8 to B12 and then comma and here we will enter any number value in the second argument say 2 and we close the parenthesis and we hit enter. Function returns 2 as the minimum value which we have entered manually in the argument. So like this also we can tell function to return the smallest value. Min also allows logical tests in number arguments. So we do double click on cell B14 to get into the edit mode and in the third argument we say 3 minus 2 and then we hit enter. Min now returns 1 instead of 2 which we entered in the second argument because the third argument returns 1 which is the smallest value and hence the function returns 1. Now moving to the next example we type min function in cell C14 and then we will select cell range from C8 to C12. You must have noticed that there are two blank cells C9 and C11. So let's see what happens when we take blank cells in the range. So we hit enter. The moment we hit enter, function returns 2 as the minimum and smallest value in the range because min function ignores the blank cells within the range. And now we'll enter min function in cell D14 and we'll take D8 to D12 as a cell range where cell D11 has text in it. So let's see now what min function would return to. So the moment we hit enter, we get 4 as a smallest value in the range. It is because just like blank cells, min also ignores text contained within the range. But what happens when we directly type any text in the number argument? To know more, we will double click on cell D14 to get into the edit mode and we type any random text in the second argument, say Excel, double quotes and we hit enter. Wow, unexpectedly function now returns value error, but how? We got the smallest value when we take the text in the data range, but when we enter directly into the function, it has returned value error. It is because if any of the arguments are entered directly to the function which cannot be recognized as a numeric value, function returns value error. Okay, now we go to E14 and once again we type main function and hit tab to auto complete the function. Now we'll see and check what happens if there is any error value in the range or cell that we are going to take in the function. So we select E8 to E12 where cell E10 has any error in it. So we hit enter and now function returns the same any error which is there in E10. It is because it cannot have any error value in the range which we are referring in the number argument and hence it returns an error as an answer. So this is how min function works and we can make use of it in different situations. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.